That's a good long ball to Doxon Garrett, and what a goal! <laughs> De La Rosa into Massetti, and that's a disappointing goal to concede. Who had you? Moreno has it now in the box. Turns and shoots and scores! Doxa Garrett. He's got Moreno in support. Finds him. Out to Guerrero. 2 0. If we lose this. Good save, Govitzo. And Sanudo, what a tackle! Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer. This is some more of my Sodor Football uh, League career. Um, we are about to play Ferry Celtic, who are second in the league. If we if we beat them, we will enter the top three on ten games. So a third of the way through the season, we will be in the top three, which is something that I'm interested to get, obviously. And then after that, we've got the big cup game against um, Anofa Albion in Anofa, which is Farquhar, basically just north of Farquhar. Um, it's where the quarry is for where um, at the end of. Thomas's branch line, if you are interested in such things. So Anthony Williams is available. He hasn't played for me yet, but he's been doing well in the reserves. Um, Darren Howes is still not quite fully match fit. So either way, so we will name an unchanged team. Jared Buhadja will take the armband, of course. So we shall name a fully unchanged side today against Ferry Celtic which this this could be an important marker to put down last season we still I don't think we've played either South Bay or Peel Steelers at this point so um, we are favourites just I'm still going to try this flexible thing because I'm not going to judge it after one match because um, obviously we didn't do particularly well against New Chapel Saints but um, I'm going to have to see how this goes again we're in our white kit two matches in a row this is more like it. Moreno. Lugaro. It's a... Ooh! I don't think he meant that to go there, but it went there and it was nearly interesting. Nearly very interesting. Lugaro picks up that poor, poor clearance from the goalkeeper. Coling. Into Guerrero. Shepard Capuro. Out back again to Coling. Got to take on his man there, or knock it back to Lugaro. Good work in the triangles again, to Guerrero, and Moreno, and Doxa Garrett's been left free in the middle! Should have been 1-0. Henshaw's throw to Gilmontes. Back out to Henshaw. And Andrews heads away, good strong header from the youngster. Fella. Caschiaro. Through into Victor, they appeal for offside. It is onside. Ferry Celtic take the lead. 1-0. Hmm. <laughs> Not happy. Not happy. Because we should have been 1-0 up. Now get out there and make a fucking difference, people. Go on. I wasn't happy with them. And I let them know. They, they know that I wasn't happy with them. They're aware. Whether they'll do anything about it or not is besides the bloody point. But Bright heads it on. Off the post. What's going on here? Can someone clear it? Thank you. Bloody hell, that was a scramble. Who had just looking tired, is he? Like, no one, he's not as tired as Guerrero. By 1%, Guerrero is more tired. I might have to change tactics, you know, because this, this lineup isn't working. Coelho to Hewitt. He was offside with a good save. Right. Now let's overload. Let's throw people fucking forwards. Andrews, that's a mistake. And Gil Montes is in here. This could finish it off. And it does. That'll be that. This has been a poor start. To this episode, got an important cup game coming up as well. Maybe we're not up. To, maybe we're not up for promotion yet. Maybe that's the problem. We're not good enough to go up yet. <sighs> no, no, not happy. You weren't good enough, and I'm getting sick of shouting at you. <laughs> it's your own time you're wasting.
Yeah, this isn't good enough, lads. This is not good enough. Let's have a look at some tactics. Shall we? Let's have a look at some instructions. Forget about dribbling less. Forget about sticking to positions. Stay on your feet, yeah. Okay, let's... Yes, let's see if that simplifies. Oh, we can pass into space. That's one thing we can do. Okay, so yeah, we know we know what we're doing. Right, let's let's do with that. See how that goes. I mean, against an Ofer album is not the one to judge on because they're a higher division than us. Border still. I mean, I'm taking the job, so that's not an issue. But yeah, this is. Oh, ten games. I forgot. We're going to do the um, the review, aren't we? So we go quickly back down to so nice about let's see what's going on here after 10 games there's no relegation for the Soda National Bank that is the bottom so as you can see the teams that we probably end up if we don't go up Corlowe Olympic Arsenal Street and Harbour Hotspur these are not surprising and these are surprising there are no big teams in there really local Lions League as you can see Peel Steelers very Celtic Castle Knights are at the top we're in fifth we're in a semi-decent position but we're losing ground that's what worries me um and then down the bottom, New Shafts H Clan Colts. Old Sidorians drew against them, drew against them. Um, haven't played Old Sidorians yet, I don't think. So into the conference. Um, Gordon Sill, Howen or Krasny Howen are coming down. Big teams in here. Crosby once were a Premier League team. They're in sixth. Um, and Ofer Albion, that's the team we're playing in the next match in the FA Cup. Balahu, never been in the Premier League, probably should have been in the Premier League. Um, then second with Crocker and Hotspur, then into Division 2, Kilaban, um, they, they once were a div decent Division 1 team, but obviously they're having a bit of a drop in form, so let me put, plug my camera in, then Orsted Road also looking like they're coming down, Arsenal Rangers, ex-Premier League team, Harwick, ex-Premier League team, Shalonians, probably should have been a Premier League team, Peel Godred, ex Premier League team, Ulstead, ex Premier League team, so some good teams in here. Uh, Peel Godred, Ulstead, obviously Peel Godred are also our local rivals. They've played 12 games. Don't know why they've, only, they've played two more. Either way, Division 1, um, Tidmouth Town, that is unusual. Tidmouth Town, four draws. Ooh, they're not going to be happy with that. Bottom of the table, Sudbury and Phoenix, and Balamodi, those two are smaller teams, but Tidmouth Town have been in Europe. They've been in top four Premier League team. Drive Villa, ex Premier League team, Crosney. In fact, most teams here have been in the Premier League at least a couple of times. The only ones that haven't are Kelleby, Balladwale, Haltra, and Balazwen, and Duryvale Rangers. Everyone else has been in the Premier League. Vickers Town, West Shore, and Duryvale. That's not entirely a surprise. There's Norby. There's the team that could have been in Division 1 um, that, that swapped with Peel Castle on the very last day. Or I'd have been playing them if things had happened, things had happened differently. And then the Premier League, Rearville Rangers, Toyrek and Marin. Okay, that's a slight shock to see Marin that far down. Um, everyone else seems to be doing about as you'd expect after 11 games. Drogon up in third, that's a small surprise. Um, Cron considering in the top two, that's not a surprise at all. Kelsthorp being up there, that's not a surprise. Probably the best team to have never won the Premier League. Um, close tie with Crovens Gate for that. Either way, let's get to Saturday where we play... Um, and over Albion, yes, definitely defensive positioning, I think. Make sure we don't get absolutely trounced. If we get to the fourth round, round of 32, we could, well, again, we, we, every match in the, in the FA Cup now is a potential match against a Premier League team. Um, or indeed just a league team, but if we could play at home against a Premier League team, that would be great. Um, one, from a club point of view, it would be great because we get the money in, we'd get... Um, a chance to test our players against some really top quality Sodorian teams and it'd be cool for me to see some of my Premier League teams um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that FA Cup round of th round of 64 the FA Cup third round so we are unchanged I believe apart from Darren House coming in at the back um, and yeah that is our only change a no for Albion I'll be interested to see what they've got we'll be playing in our red I imagine. We owe an over Albion. Okay, yeah, let's go assertive. We owe an over Albion after what happened in our last match. Okay, let's do that. Fuck it, why not? I think we lost them in a friendly or something. Or did they beat... Didn't they play us in another cup match? I can't remember when we last played an over Albion, but either way. I've told them, let's go and get revenge. So, let's see what happens here. This this could be a thrashy. We could get stuff 4 5 6 nil. But then it could go the other way and we could win quite easily. So we'll just have to see, won't we? Guerrero with the corner. Eight minutes in. This is a good start. In towards Robert. Doesn't drop for him. But Shepard Capura will get the second ball. 
What are we going to do with it? Knock it back to Lugaro. Who knocks it through towards Moreno. Oh, what a save. Basically put that off the line. Coling. And Holgado gets in his way. That's good. That's a good start. That's a good start. Lugaro heads it away. And now Gonzalez Perez. This is end-to-end -end football already. This could be 1-0 to a no for Albion here. That's a poor finish. That's a very poor finish. Gonzalez. 1-0 and 0 for Albion. Good free kick from Gaivitzo. From there, Gaivitzo. And Daniel Gonzalez with his fourth for the season. It's a good header, that. Loopy. Look at this. A lot of neck muscle in that header. Loops up and over. And nah, Gaivitzo couldn't do much with that, I don't think. This is now just pride. See how far we can go. And we've let it drop and we've cleared it. Blocked it on the line. Dr. Garrett couldn't get there. Just not in the game, Dr. Garrett. And Robber now. Plays it forward. Dr. Garrett will not claim it. Okay, that's fine. Half time. No, 1 0. Let's see what we can do here. Swings it in. Gonzalez gets rid of it. Cascara will get it in again. Swings in towards Shepard. Capullo, 1 1. We're back in it. We are not out of this yet. This is good. This is a good, good thing. Good play. Gonzalez heads it away, but Cascaro got it. A first time cross as well. And Shepard Kapura, what a header. He's found a gap there. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. I'm happy with the draw. If we can get him back to our place, back to Campion Road. If we can get a win, even better. Robber throws it short to Doxon. No, he doesn't. That'll be a goal kick, and that'll be 1 1. Okay, I'll take that. Good stuff. So now we'll have a we'll have a replay on Wednesday, I think, which is which will be our next game. Uh, so we'll see if we go through or not in this next game. I think in between times I am going to have a look at um, tactics um, because I think a three-four-three might work with these players. So I shall do that in between episodes. So we'll we'll finish off against an for album because I'm not. If we lose in the FA Cup, we lose in the FA Cup. I'm not necessarily going to cry about it in that sort of sense. But yes, there we are. On Tuesday, right, okay. Okay, here's the fourth round draw. We are in it. So let's see. This will be the round of 16. Let's see who, if we get through, we will be playing. Pearl Godred, Timoth Town. Interesting draw. Calabie Villa, Orange Bridge or Harwick. Okay, yeah, good draw. West Shorondras, Ballers Wen. That's an interesting type. Kirk Ronan Thistle... Farquhar Miners, all Premier League. Hackenbeck or Marthwaite will play Brendam. That's a good game. <laughs> Ellsbridge, Premier League. Suddery, Premier League. Big match. Kelsthorpe, Premier League. Norrenby, Division 1. River Rangers, Prem. Castle Rovers, Prem. Big game. Dragon Town, go on. Give me. Ah, Casney High, no Castle Knights. Ballard Whale. Dory Bell Rangers, Rolstead. Knapford City. Marin Town, big game. Olfstead Road or Balladrine. Rolfs Cast United, give me a home draw. Kildane. Crosney Kern. Kirk Macken, no. Shalonians, give me a home draw. Sudry and Phoenix. And no for Albion or Peel Castle. So we'll be going to a Division 1 side if we win. And then Halter to try to finish it off. So that's not a bad draw if we get through. Oh, we've got a press conference. Okay, Dan Hasman seems to be struggling for fitness. You want to, uh, I'm not prepared to discuss team selection. Are you confident in the upcoming tie? I'm, I'd rather focus on the game than needlessly discuss it. <laughs> the press will hate me now. Right, OK, so that's the only change. Andrews comes in for um, Howes. Go out there and show him what you can bloody well do. And Walker hits it forward. No, Walker collects the ball forward. Robber heads it away. Chris will pick it up now. It was Chris that hit it forward, actually. Govizzo to Crisp. Out to Walker. Gets past Lugaro. Gonzalez Perez. That's a poor finish. It's a poor finish. And Campion Road lets him know. Now, this is how they scored last time. A free kick. Govizzo knocks it short this time to Walker. Good work from 
the defence and the midfielders there kept him shepherded Lugaro that's a poor clearance really he didn't quite get his foot to that to Gonsalves and Priestley out to Gaivizzo and Crisp and Cross Gonzalez Perez to Gonsalves and Cross it's took a deflection and that's fooled Gaivizzo in goal and that's 1-0 and 0 for Albion Gaivizzo had that I reckon until that deflection and it's just it's just deflected him away look at the way he goes because the deflection comes off the defender there and he's already moving and it's yeah it's taken it away from him it's still not great keeping he could have re could have reacted um, it wasn't exactly a powerful shot but yeah well again if we if we knocked out the FA Cup at the third round again I'm not too disheartened we've got to a third round replay as well it should be pointed out Coaling that's a lot of time for not a lot of result. It's an easy pick up for Seymour, who drops the ball at his feet. He gives it away straight back to Coling now. Moreno got beaten to it by Ruiz, but Lugaro comes in. As the Peel Casamaggio just brushes his bum fluff that he pretends is a beard. Moreno looking for Doxa Garrett, didn't get it through. Coling will pick up the second ball here though. Into Shepard Capuro who was the scorer in the last game, and what a goal that is! 1-1, one, one. game on! What a hit! What an absolute stunner of a goal, look at this, Coling knocks it into him, Shepard one touch takes the defender out, and then, oh, that is a fucking rocket! He has nailed that, Lugaro, throws it short to Guerrero, looking forwards, and Lugaro will get in there. Some mistakes from the Inova Albion players. Moreno. Looking for Dr. Gap, but didn't fall for him. Cross. Plays it backwards all the way to Seymour in goal. So we're giving them the hurry up. That's what I like. We're, we're not giving them, apart from the goalkeeper there, we're not giving them a huge amount of time on the ball. Coling. That's well done to keep that in play. Guerrero knocks it back to him. Coling. Trying to get people to go forward. Knocks it forward to Moreno. That's a good ball. He's got Doxa Garrett in the middle. Will Moreno use him? Yes, he will. He's missed him to Bahadja. Oh, good save from Seymour. Could have been 2-1. Probably should have been 2-1. Guerrero. With the corner. Headed away by Priestley. And Gonzalez Perez can now run. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Hill Castle defenders getting back now. Holgado, but that also gives time for an overarching players to get forwards. Crisp will pick it up here. He's got options. Knocks that wide to Holgado, who will not keep that in. Good first half so far, this has been actually. And if we can hold it at 1 1 until half time, I'll be happy. Cross knocks it back to Priestley. That's a great ball across to Walker. Pretty much open goal with that kind of delivery. Pretty much open goal. And a goal on his birthday by all accounts. So, yeah, 2 1 and 0 for Albion. It's a heck of a ball, this from Priestley. Look at that. And yeah, when Walker's got there, he's. I, Guy Vitzo would have had. I think he got a hand to it, which is pretty impressive. You've been unlucky so far, lads. Actually, I think you played pretty well. So, I have faith in you. Get back out there. And see what we can do. They liked that. And I think they have been unlucky so far, actually. I think we've played pretty well. Um, we could have been 2-1 up but for a good save from their goalkeeper and it would have taken a miracle save from Govitz. I wasn't particularly happy with our defenders moving up as far as they did. Um, but actually, you know what, if we're going to lose to a goal like that, I'm I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm okay losing to an for Albion anyway because they're a division above us and we've got the FA Cup third round, you know. Um, being remarkably um, philosophical about this, but... I mean, as long as we don't get crushed 4-5-1 now from this point forward, that would be a capitulation on our part, but I think we've made a decent account of ourselves. Dr. Garrett to Robber. Plays the ball across 
And Cavazuto it was that gets the to clearance. Guerrero will win the race. I'm not quite sure how he's done that. Some lazy lazy work from an over album player is actually how he's done that. Lugaro into Shepard Capuro. Moreno. Looking for Coling. That's good running. Now get it across. It's a goal kick. Shouldn't have shot from there. That should have been a ball across the middle. We've pushed him. Shepard Capuro. Knocks it through to Pitaluga. Who knocks it into Moreno. Got to be 2 2. It is. No flag. 2 all. Guerrero's corner. Swings it in. It's, good. it's Andrews who gets it. He's got not a lot he can do there. Knocks it back to Bacarissia. 3 2. We've done it. We've turned it round. Tighten it up. Let's go counter. Let's hold on to this. We're going to get a fourth round game in the FA Cup. Away at Sudbury and Phoenix of Division 1. Three minutes of added time. Bakarisa's throw to Pitaluga. Knocks it back to she Shepard Capuro. Who knocks it through to Colling. They appeal for offside. Nothing given. Colling. Oh! Could have been four. As long as one of us picks it up now, that's going to be game over. We did it! <laughs> yes! Yes! Minor upset in the FA Cup. That is brilliant. Well played, everybody. Whew! Oh, there we go. I wasn't too confident about that. We have an FA Cup fourth round match against Sudri and Phoenix, who are 15th in Division 1, so they're not having the best season, so it might be... Might be a case that we can capitalise on that. Right, I'm going to give everyone a couple of days of rest because it's been a heck of a week. Um, that is where we're going to leave that there. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Check out um, the game in the description below, but you probably already own a newer version of Football Manager. Anyway, check out the notation on the screen about to see. Thank you ever so much for watching. I was me. That was Sodor Football League on Football Manager 2016. See you in the next episode, guys. Goodbye. Stay above the ground. Miss the trees, miss the trees! Okay, the trees don't actually matter. <laughs> I should point it out, I have not died yet. Target him, target him, target him. Don't hit the ground, don't hit the ground, I hit the ground. Oh!